Hi, it's Katrina. From the first ever beer factory to a battle about ancient feces, here are 10 of the strangest discoveries recently made. Number 10. Ancient Brewery Archaeologists have just discovered the world's oldest industrial-sized brewery. Found in the ruins of the ancient city of Abydos, this ancient Egyptian brewery is 5,000 years old and operated just like any industrial brewery of today. Abydos was home to Egypt's early kings and is full of their monuments, tombs, and temples. The brewery was enormous. It was made up of eight parallel sections, each containing 40 ceramic vats to cook the mash before fermenting. Compared to everything else at the time, the brewery could have produced around 22,400 liters of alcohol in a single batch, probably weekly. Even in modern times, that is a staggering amount of beer. According to the project co-leader, Dr. Matthew Adams, even more fascinating is that the brewery probably provided about 8,800 jobs. And yes, archaeologists believe that part of their wage included beer. But unlike how we use beer today, this alcohol would have been primarily used in ceremonial settings, such as for rituals and for funerary rites. The project leaders say that it points to how important beer and bread were for daily life, and that this site also points to a critical time for Egypt, when power symbols were changing. The brewery illustrates how the early rulers incorporated this ritual staple into their formal ideology. The ancient city of Abydos needed this brewery to create the special beer that would then be buried along with the pharaohs and given as offerings at the temples. Number 9. The Head of Vishnu A restoration team in Cambodia came across a large head of an ancient Vishnu statue. Found in a village near Angkor Wat in Siem Reap, the head was discovered near the central tower of the temple, made from sandstone with only one eye, part of an eyebrow, half a nose, and portions of lips and ears still remaining. This is a Kulin-styled sculpture that was probably part of the temple when it was first constructed back in the 9th century, during the reign of King Jayavarman III, son of the infamous King Jayavarman II, who ruled between 802 and 850. Jay II is considered the founder of the Khmer Empire who overthrew the previous rulers from Java and brought unification and peace. Later kings described him as a warrior and the most powerful and fearful king of his time. Nobody has found the rest of the body of Vishnu's statue, and it's not clear how exactly the head was separated from its torso. But local villagers did stumble upon a few other interesting relics, including a pedestal with rows of ancient Khmer writing on its side and a random left hand crafted out of sandstone. Even though Angkor Wat is one of the most impressive and extensively explored temple complexes in the world, new discoveries like this are being made all the time at the dozens of old temples and structures found throughout what was once the capital of one of the largest empires in the world. Number 8. New Photons In a bizarre new discovery, Chinese scientists have identified some new photons with unheard of energy levels. This was done using a specialized cosmic ray observatory, and they were able to see 12 sources of photons with extremely high energy. They also detected a photon with an energy level of 1.4 million billion electron volts. In other words, the photon discovered boasted an energy level 140 times higher than anything that can be achieved by humans using the impressive Large Hadron Collider near Geneva, the most technologically advanced particle accelerator on the planet. That makes the new photon the thing with the highest recorded energy to ever reach Earth. But what does all this science mumbo-jumbo mean? First of all, it's important to note that the high-energy photon came from the Milky Way, inside our own galaxy. The truth is that scientists can't quite understand how charged particles like photons and atomic nuclei function. We know that they zip through space in velocities nearly the speed of light, and now we know that some of them have energy far beyond what was previously thought possible. We just don't know exactly how to harness the power of photons or why they are flying through space like cosmic bullets. Number 7. 3,000 Bodies Archaeologists have made some pretty grim findings at a churchyard in Buckinghamshire. During a construction project to build a brand new rail link, contractors stumbled upon 3,000 bodies in an old churchyard. The discovery prompted archaeologists to move in and investigate the site at the old St. Mary's Church. According to The Guardian, the church itself was built after the Norman Conquest back in 1080 AD, 
and its burial yard was used for at least 900 years. The last recorded person to be buried here was from 1908, but this is actually a pretty controversial topic. Construction of the rail link also resulted in about 60,000 bodies being discovered, exhumed and reburied back in 2017 from an ancient burial site near Euston Station. Some argue that infrastructure projects like this are destroying history. And this makes sense, considering Old St. Mary's Church was renovated in the 13th century and 17th century, and that it was a central part of the community. Of course, the church fell into disrepair in the 1880s and was later abandoned. But still, just how ethical is it for a construction crew to go in, dig up the dead, and then put them in graves somewhere else? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. Fading Cave Art One of the most shocking discoveries recently has to do with cave art and climate change. The island of Sulawesi in Indonesia is home to some of the oldest cave art in the world, dating back at least 45,000 years. Made from red pigments, there are depictions of animals, strange humanoid figures, humans mixed with animals, and hand stencils all over the walls. For many, it is the first story of humanity ever told, depicting some type of hunt with maybe gods watching over. The oldest of all the pieces of art is that of a pig, dated to be 45,500 years old. The researchers say that the cave paintings in Sulawesi and Borneo are some of the earliest evidence we have that people were living on these islands. They said that tragically, at almost every new site we find in this region, the rock art is in an advanced stage of decay. According to Life Science, the authors of the study claim that paintings which have survived for tens of thousands of years will soon be gone because the cave walls have begun to blister and peel. At first, the reasons weren't so obvious. The team had to investigate and analyze samples of artwork between 20,000 and 40,000 years old, spanning 11 different sites. Their conclusion was that salt deposits are likely leading to their destruction. And of course, the salt is produced by high humidity as water is carried into the area later to be evaporated, leaving behind salt deposits on rock surfaces. Number 5. A Secret Tunnel Gary Matchins from Illinois got the shock of his life when he found a mysterious tunnel from the 19th century under his home. The discovery came after a piece of the sidewalk in front of Gary's house fell apart revealing an entry into the spooky corridor below. He said there was a lot of brick down there and it would have taken a lot of men a lot of hours to build the tunnel. Many people have lived in the house over the years, but there is no evidence showing that they knew about it. Historians visited the site to try and wrap their heads around it. It wasn't a simple bomb shelter built for the Cold War in the 60s. It was a huge tunnel that who knows where it led to or what people used it for. Historians believe the tunnel dates to 1840, while Gary says that his house can be traced back to the 1890s. Maps of the area from 1863 do not show the tunnel, meaning that it was probably built between 1840 and 1860. There is a set of stairs as well as a crawl space. It could have been part of the Underground Railroad, it may have been used as a simple cellar, or it could have been something even more mysterious that nobody's guessed yet. According to information from the New York Post, Gary is now hoping to use the tunnel to his advantage by offering creepy tours to curious tourists. In the meantime, he is fixing up his sidewalk and making sure it isn't open for just anyone to sneak down there. Number 4. Hiding in a Cave One of the craziest discoveries that happened during the first days of the coronavirus pandemic was in India. As reported by Global News, tourists were discovered by local authorities isolating inside of a cave after they ran out of money to pay for their hotel. The group consisted of four men and two women who were discovered trying to survive inside of a cave they had found. The tourists were from France, Ukraine, the US, Turkey, and Nepal. Scared that they would completely run out of money, they ditched their hotel, moved into the creepy cave, and tried to ration their money so they could keep eating since all air travel, rail, and road transport was suspended. And who knows how long they were going to be there. They must have been really scared. Tourists were banned from entering the area, but these six people had nowhere to go. They were stuck and broke, and it was a good thing authorities found them when they did because they could have died inside the cave. But as it stands, the tourists were taken by local authorities to a quarantine center, where they later tested negative for the virus. Number 3. Sleep Before Brains Scientists have just discovered living proof that sleep evolved in animals before brains. Proof has come from a creature known as a hydra. It's less than half an inch in length and has a tubular body with a single foot on one end and a mouth on the other. 
The foot is used to stick to surfaces underwater, and its mouth is covered in little tentacles which it uses to catch water fleas. The hydra has no brain and barely any kind of nervous system. Despite the hydra literally being a brainless, almost microscopic creature, studies done by a team of Korean and Japanese scientists showed that it periodically sleeps. This seems completely impossible, and yet it's true. It would appear that the brain is not a necessary tool for the function of sleep. Of course, the way that these little tentacled monsters sleep is quite different from the way humans do it, but they still do it, suggesting the mechanism of sleep or rest or whatever else you want to call it developed before animals even began growing functioning brains. Number 2. A Letter About Poo Mary Anning was a famous paleontologist from the early 1800s. Mary rose to fame at the young age of 12 when she unearthed the skull of an ichthyosaur in 1811. She gained worldwide prestige as a reptile fossil hunter. But this isn't about any of the fossils she discovered. Rather, this is about a rare letter written by Mary Anning describing something a little strange that has been sold at an auction for over $100,000. According to the BBC, this was more than eight times its reserve price. The letter in question was written in 1829, addressed to a paleontologist named William Buckland. What was the letter about? It contained information on a fossilized piece of poo. The letter has been described as a unique piece of paleontological history and local heritage for the people of Lyme Regis, where Mary found her first fossil. Imagine the disappointment when after the local Lyme Regis Museum raised over $40,000 to have the rare letters stored in their museum, but it was purchased by an anonymous private collector for nearly triple. The small town was devastated. They'd wanted the letter to help motivate young people into following their dreams of being paleontologists. Instead, the private seller took the letter about poo and ran away with it. Copper light, or ancient feces, are actually extremely valuable since they are trace fossils and can help scientists learn what type of animal left them behind and what they ate. It is just in recent years that Mary's contribution to science is being acknowledged, and she led an interesting life. She was born poor and would help her father look for fossils on the weekends to sell to tourists. When her father died, she and her brother continued to look for fossils to support her eight other brothers and sisters. She survived being struck by lightning and a landslide. While she was well known, she was not taken very seriously because she was not an academic. And she was a woman. Number 1. Death Cults of Malta Archaeologists working on prehistoric sites all over the world have found chubby female figurines. They are believed to represent the celebration of fertility and health, and are also known as Venus dolls or the fat ladies. In Malta, these figurines have been found near some of the earliest standing stone structures in the world. Prehistoric temples and burial chambers on the islands contain images of obese feminine figures of all sizes, along with animals and phallic symbols. A new study about these female figures, represented in sculptures and in images in ancient sites, shows that in Malta, worshipping these corpulent images became so intense it became a cult or an early form of religion. Malta is a dry place with little fresh water and not very much soil. The people from 5,000 to 7,000 years ago had a different experience. The islands were probably much more fertile, but over time crops started to struggle, and the society became more extreme in an effort to survive. An underground burial chamber known as the Hypogeum, found in Hal Safliani, was the final resting place for 6,000 to 7,000 people. They were buried with all kinds of grave goods, including jewelry made of beads and stone, flint and obsidian tools, and stone figures of obese people and animals. One of the most famous is the Sleeping Lady of the Hypogeum. It's a statue of a chubby female lying on her side on a woven bed. The sheer amount of figurines from all the temples and the Hypogeum have led archaeologists to believe that perhaps Maltese society was a powerful matriarchy dominated by priestesses. However, it looks like they were more closely related to prehistoric rituals of death, since they were mostly found in graves. Cult activities such as building temples and performing rituals ruled the society, and the fertility figures were a representation of the cult of the dead. Thanks for watching! Which of these discoveries did you like the most? What would you like to learn more about? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe before you go! See you next time! Bye!